Christmas Eve, guys. Merry Christmas. We are dressed, attempting to leave the house, and it's been a minute. Yeah, it has been a while. We have not been on. But. We're back. And what better way, when we get back here, the reason why we're jumping on now is we thought we would bring you guys with our ski trip. Oh, let's go. So. I cannot wait. It's Christmas Eve, but double we are diamond. leaving tomorrow. His goal is to be on the double black diamond. I'm hoping to be on the blue. So. Follow us along when I get back. It's Doing time to adventure. finish packing. Are you going to finish packing? Absolutely. What have you packed? Uh, my electronics. They're in my bag. All right. We are working. We're doing our vacuum space saver bags this time just because it's just, the stuff is just too bulky. That's what it boils down to. He's a professional packer. Do you need help? We're in there. Cameron, you ready? Yep. So I'm going to do some flips. Okay. Are you bringing it or no? All right. Head out. Let's go. Colorado bone. Oh, this is some indication of what happened. We missed our flight. And there are no flights to Denver and Steamboat. And we don't have trip insurance where we could just cancel this trip. Nor do we have any other dates that we could really go to. So we are road tripping. So pray for us, y'all. What's up, guys? So as you can see, I am, this is not an airplane. It's not an airplane. We are in the car. Trying to make the best out of it. Making lemons out of lemonade. We are currently driving to Denver. Uh, we missed our flight. No fault of anyone's in particular. You really like, I No. I'm just, I'm no. like, it was all of us. Yeah. No. It's, it's just one of those things where we never have flown on Christmas Day. We did a full Christmas beforehand. We should and have it just it. kind of I mean, do you really want to rush through Christmas though? So Not Christmas rush, but like we should have been more when we were opening up presents, we weren't being like, Okay. Yeah, yeah. We kinda we did Christmas like we were just gonna be chilling at home instead of doing Christmas like all right, we need to do Christmas and then be out. So we missed our flight, which we got there in the same amount of time that we normally make it to flights. It's just I think with reduced staffing, reduced ground crews, reduced luggage, they were just like, nah, we 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 cut it off. So we are currently in a car driving to Denver. It's a thirteen hour trip. We don't miss anything super major. Yeah, but... nothing super major. We're gonna go out to dinner tonight because every time that we go skiing, we always like chill on the first day that we make it there anyway, and not hop right on the slopes. We heard that it helps with altitude sickness, doing it that way, getting acclimated. So that's been a rule of thumb. So we didn't miss anything. Uh, it'll be a road trip. It was an adventure. But coming from Michigan, living in Texas, anytime we go home, that's a 16 hour straight through, 21 with kids. So this right here, we'll probably make it there in about 16 hours versus the 13, because I'm sure we're going to have some bathroom breaks and uh, go from there. Well, getting out of Texas was like the longest part. And then we went through New Mexico, then Colorado. Um, and the roads were pretty clear. It's just a very boring drive. And I'm a driver, like I don't mind driving at all. Um, and then Rick took over. And then from there, I I crashed. And then I went back to driving. Um, just because Rick seeing in the dark is not as good as mine and so i did the part where it was like super snowy once we got to like some once we were like an hour out deer passing by us but thankfully the kids did pretty freaking amazing um cc like only had two breakout crying she slept pretty much the whole time um cameron was a trooper he was in the same row as her it would feed her everything um and then the boys in the back they had their tablets they rocked it out then they fell asleep um and then could we also just shout out the fact that cashin had did not have any accidents the entire time so i realized i didn't bring his pull-ups the only time he wears pull-ups is when he is 
going out for a nap in bed and I was on a car trip like that, I would have probably normally put him in a pull up, but we didn't have a pull up and we just stopped and he did so amazing. Um, and then, so we're in a temporary spot. That's a pretty nice spot, but it's not the spot that we paid for. So on the drive, they told us that we, um, the house that we booked had some plumbing issues. So they're going to try to fix it tomorrow. And then if they get fixed, then they're going to move us over. So we are there. My mom and my aunt had a fabulous time to start. They first flew out. Then they linked up together because my mom's flight was different from my aunt's. And then they did lunch. They went They went to our dinner reservations that we were supposed to go to. And they've just been probably enjoying like a quiet house before the madness of all of us coming. So um, definitely not an expected day, but we have to get some rest because we have to go to our ski lessons tomorrow. So as I mentioned, there was some plumbing issues at the place that we booked. So they put up up in this spot while they work on it. And it's still super cute. Um, it's got like vaulted. It's just a little bit smaller, um, but it's still very good space. Downstairs is another living room area on like the second floor, window floor when you walk in. And my mom and my aunt's bedroom is there. And then in the basement is where the boys are. So, we have a really nice view of the mountain. We are so close to everything. But we're gonna hurry up, okay? We're going outside, okay? Two seconds in his ski stuff. You wanna scratch it? You come here. Our mommy will scratch it for you. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Calvin, walk me through. What are you doing today with your. Are you gonna be on greens? Pull out on the snow bags. I'm gonna be on greens, but. I bet tomorrow oh, I'll be on blue stick. Next time I'm gonna be on a black diamond. Oh wow. Yeah, I know. I'm just a pro. Yeah, you are a pro. Got here. You're a pro, mama. <laughs> Look at this. Here we got Sai. So Scott, Sai is going to ski oh, and snowboard. Fly. You're they're gonna do it, bud. Um, because the actually the ski lessons were actually but full. I and yeah. so I wanted him to be able to do an activity every day. So he's gonna be doing ski today and then snowboard later. Sorry. Can we talk about unbothered? Really, Sai? We're waiting to get our lift tickets. But why? Because. There's so many places you could sit. They're on wagons. Also, I did like this. The last ski resort we were at did not have this one. This one has like random wagons around. So we don't have to like pull all of our stuff. Come on, Sai! Woo! You got this, Sai! Let's go, Sai! Come to me! Come to your papa! Let's go! Look who stopped! Big guy! like the main area where you like get ready to go to ski school the gondola and it's really good vibe here's an ice skating rink just a really 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 cool vibe here all right so for those that are affiliated do you remember how much stuff i got for losing <laughs> my phone on space mountain well who lost their phone on an actual mountain at least it was a legitimate mountain so to make this trip even crazier, I had a slight freak out moment because I lost my phone. And I went to the welcome center and it was not there. And I was like, do you mind if I like use an iPad? And I did, I find my iPhone and I've 
could see that I was still on the mountain, which was comforting. And then like 10 minutes later, the person that does the rounds was picking up my, um, picking up all the lost and found from different stations and she grabbed it and brought it to me. So it was lost for only 30 minutes. But now back to action sports. It's such a move. This. Ski and then you get a ride back. Okay, so. What's it called? Oh, we gotta play darts. darts. That'll be fun. So we're in our. Ami, mean, please don't poke out our eye. This is gonna be my aunt's room over here. So we're just getting in here for the first time because um, the, there were some plumbing issues, like we mentioned. So. The boys are all getting settled. This is downstairs. Let me see where what room you're taking. So here's Cyrus. Why are you saying what's up, bro? No, no. Hey, hey, hey. We gotta get down, okay? All right. I just want to pause for a moment and just take that in. Look at that back there. I don't even know if the camera could do it justice, but. So glad after that drive, having a ski day like today. The kids had an absolute ball. It was fun to get out there, fall a little bit. Hey, don't judge me. It's okay. We're going to be snow tubing tomorrow. It's going to be snowmobiles are down the road. A lot of stuff happening. So absolutely keep tuning in. We're going to take you guys throughout the whole trip. If you haven't already, go ahead, uh, click subscribe. Comment down below. What's been some of your most favorite activities to do while on a ski trip or a vacation? And keep tuning in. There will be more coming.